The end of World War II created devastation that affected many throughout the world. However, Japan arguably was impacted the most by the devastation brought by the war as it lost its territorial gains, experienced the devastation of nuclear warfare firsthand, suffered what many believed a humiliating defeat, and much, much more. The destruction from these events, along with the subsequent westernization of post-war Japan from its allied occupation, brought significant changes to its culture. Among the parts of Japanese culture affected, Japanese art experienced the most drastic of these changes. From the ashes of the war arose new groups and movements, such as the Gutai group, that brought about new ideas and goals in Japanese art, such as freedom of expression, the escape from monotony, etc. At the same time, the introduction of Western art and art movements inspired many artists to try different takes on Japanese art. In this video, we will analyze an untitled piece by Kazuo Shiraga that utilized abstract painting and bodily performance to incite the horrors of World War II, an installation known as Electric Dress by Atsuko Tanaka that acted as a response against prescribed styles and a commentary of the rapid adoption of technology in Japan, and an anime called Cowboy Bebop produced by a team led by Shinichiro Watanabe that was created in inspiration from the comics and cartoons of America, while also heavily borrowing from American music, counterculture, and more. In this piece, Kazuo Shiruga throws away the traditional tools of painting, like brushes, in lieu of using his own body to paint. Specifically, he uses his feet, covered in paint, to create wide sweeping strokes that cover the whole canvas. However, the technique also leads to a lack of control over these strokes at the same time. This creates wild, irregular lines and strokes, invoking a sense of chaos within the painting that mirrors the horrors and destruction that the artist would have witnessed during and after the war. Additionally, the main colors used within the painting are black, red, and lavender. The black and lavender mix together to create a dark, somber background that would be representative of the depressed and bleak outlook of Japan's state after the war and the bombing of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Not only this, but the red seemingly splashed on top of the lavender and black invoke imagery of blood being splattered onto the canvas, representative of the catastrophic loss of life from the war. Yet, despite the fact that the piece has themes about the destruction and chaos felt in Japan from the conclusion of World War II, it also ironically has many Western influences as well. The most obvious of these influences would be the piece's similarity to art from the Abstract Impressionism movement that originally developed in New York in the 1940s. Following many characteristics from Abstract Impressionism, this piece is expressive and emotional in effect due to its link to the somber subject of World War II and follows the surrealist idea of painting from the subconscious as the artist performs in real time almost dancing across the canvas to paint with his body. In fact, Kazuo Shiruga's inspiration for his body art has been stated to have been when he saw Jack Pollock's drip paintings at a Tokyo exhibition in 1951, where he took note of the artist's spontaneous and improvised paintings created by running across the canvas while dripping paint. Overall, the themes of destruction and chaos from the war found within the painting along with its subtle western influences create a dichotomy that would have been representative of the state of post-war Japan as it received support and backing for its reconstruction from the same nations that had humiliated and defeated them during the war. In this sculpture, Atsuko Tanaka recreates the traditional Japanese kimono using painted light bulbs instead of the silk and fabric normally used. This creates a sense of tradition clashing with the modern world as the technology used in the sculpture depicts traditional clothing that has been a mainstay in Japanese culture throughout its history. The clash acts as a response against the traditional and government-mandated styles that were prevalent before and during World War II as seen through the propaganda and art pieces commissioned by Imperial Japan throughout the war. The sculpture thus acts as Mrs. Tanaka's way of expressing her exploration of newer and fresher ideas to improve upon the traditional styles that stifled development of Japanese art during the war. In this exploration, she emphasizes the free expression of ideas and the implementation of newer methods and materials as seen by the bulbs and wiring throughout the sculpture. Additionally, the sculpture also acts as a commentary on the rampant technological and consumer revolution that Japan went through due to its reconstruction guided by Western nations. Mainly influenced by the neon signs that began to litter the skylines of urban centers in Japan, the sculpture is created by bulbs that turn on and off at random intervals creating bright, flashing lights that attract viewers from afar. Although these lights create a flashy and eye-catching display from far away, upon closer inspection, the sculpture appears crude instead, as the color, intensity, and randomness of the lights create an absurd display. This effect reveals the artist's ambivalent attitude towards the rapid technological advancement that Japan endured in its post-war era, as the bulbs in the sculpture depict technology as both an alluring and repulsive entity. However, by utilizing technology to create art, Mrs. Tanaka also makes a statement of trying to understand technology by creating something beautiful out of something horrible as well. Uh. 
I think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Finally, as a more modern piece compared to the others discussed previously, Cowboy Bebop, directed by Shinichiro Watanabe, deals less with the effects of World War II on Japanese art and culture, and instead acts as a prime example of the heavy Western influence upon Japanese entertainment art in its post-war era. Anime as a whole was largely influenced by American cartoons and comics, such as the animated characters from Disney and the popularity of American comic books. However, Cowboy Bebop goes beyond just borrowing the art style of American comics and cartoons and adopts American music, storytelling, and more in its production. The most apparent American influence in the anime is through its music that can be heard playing in the background right now. The music blends many different American genres together, most notable being jazz, blues, and funk. This heavily contrasts with the Japanese pop genre that would have been popular at the time of the anime's release. This would make the tone of the anime more attuned to an American film rather than an animation. Not only this, but Cowboy Bebop also takes heavy influence from the film noir genre, popularized by Hollywood during the early to mid-1900s. This can most easily be seen through the characters as the presence of a morally questionable protagonist along with the femme fatale supporting character, all are general characteristics of the genre. Not only this, but the plot of the anime follows general tropes of the genre as well, such as the presence of betrayals and an underlying tone of cynicism. Overall, Shinichiro Watanabe manages to blend the popular entertainment format of anime with Western influences in order to create a series that can be understood and related to by both the West and the East, leading to a truly international piece of art. In conclusion, the end of World War II, along with the subsequent Western-backed reconstruction of Japan, had extreme ramifications in defining the future of Japanese art. From discussing the horrors of the war to the fusing of both Eastern and Western entertainment, Japanese art has taken heavy influences from both of these events. However, by incorporating unique aspects of its culture and history, Japanese art maintains its individuality and prevents itself from de-evolving into mere copies of Western art. As the world becomes more connected and internationalism becomes a more dominant ideology, we are bound to see larger amounts and more extreme examples of cultural mixing and art fusion. By studying the way how Japanese art evolved from such international influences, we can hope to predict what art of different cultures may eventually evolve into.